Good day, everyone. Welcome to this channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use stored procedure to add items to your Cosmos DB database. If you've been following this series, you are going to recall that we've gone to how you can add items directly from Visual Studio to Cosmos database. Cosmos database is on Azure. And we've also seen how you can do it if you want to um, add a couple of items at a time using the bulk and sets. But this time I want to use stored procedures. And before I start, I will just, um, because the first question I get asked about this is, why do we need stored procedures when we can add items to a database? of what benefits are stored procedures to us. So I just want to um, open a web page that contains some of that. I'll be sharing my screen. So instead of just speaking from my head, let me show you a page that tells you why stored procedures are key. Okay, I believe you can see my Edge browser now. So let me go to a new slide. Yeah. Yeah, so over here we can see the key reasons why we should use stored procedures. This is called C, C -sharp .com. Number one, efficiency. So stored procedures is way faster and accurate when it comes to performing operations. And in a single call, we have multiple operations that can happen at a time. And also atomicity, we can note that it ensures that tasks are done correctly, speed, security, maintainability, consistency. You can read about this. I will be providing the link to this page in the description. So without wasting much time on our job portal, if you want to create a new stored procedure, all you need to do is come over here, click on new stored procedures and you will have a window such as this. So this is the stored procedure that we'll be using. So I literally just copied this from Microsoft documentation. Let me see if I can get the link right now. Um, where I copied it from, just give me a moment. Yeah, I'm copying it, just give me a moment. So Microsoft, as usual, you know, they, they don't joke with their documentations. You always get good support from their documentation. So I just copied it and it works perfectly with my use case. So let me open it. Um, show you where I got that from. Yeah, so this is where I got it from. So I just copied all we have here. You know, in JavaScript, stored procedures are based on JavaScript. So I copied what I have here and I just pasted them here. The only thing I did differently was to give it a name. And I give it add item as the name because I'll be adding items to my um to my database. So um after pasting that, so these are stored procedure. So I want you to take note of the items that we have over here. So we don't have um we have C O O O 10, we don't have C O eight. And that's what we are going to be adding for my Visual Studio. So um, let me stop sharing and share my Visual Studio. Yeah, so we are on Visual Studio now. This is how we want to execute our stored procedure. And one thing that as you saw in the C Sharp corner page that one key thing about making use of stored procedure is that it is cleaner, it's more secure because to an extent, compared to the example that we did previously, where we were interacting directly to 
the Cosmos DB container and database. In this case, um, we are making use of, even though we are still authorizing um, the program to the Cosmos DB account, but um, the addition of item to the collection is outside of our program. It's the stored procedure that is really doing that. So that's um makes it makes our code cleaner it makes it easier to modify um it makes it faster it's more secure most importantly it's more secure so this is the name of my stored procedure over here and many of all these we are already familiar with it so i'm just declaring connection string database name, con container name, and I'm using Cosmos client to have access to my Cosmos DB account. Then I'm um, having access to the container using this get container method. Then this is the item I want to add. So I have the ID, course ID, course name, and the rating. Then this way I'm calling the stored procedure and I'm using my partition key, I'm using the course ID as the partition key, basically. So let me run this program. So let me share the um the output screen so that you see what is really happening from the outputs. So this is the output screen, it's done running. So it's telling me that just one um just one item was added to my Cosmos DB. So now I'm going to verify that it was truly added. So let me stop sharing and go back to my edge. Yeah, so take note of what we have here. We have one down to seven. There's no eights. There's no it and take note of all we have here. So I'm going to refresh and we'll see C O O O it. Yeah, so this is our ID over here that we've added using our stored procedure. So this was the stored procedure that I used. And it's important to understand why this is useful. That's why I took you over here. Because we've done the same thing using, um, um, using um, without using stored procedure. We've even worked with adding multiple items without using stored procedure. So um, it's good that we know why this is key and this is best practice. So it might not make a lot of sense now because we are we are just adding a single item, but once um our item list is way um higher and we are working in a production environment it becomes clear why stored procedures are useful um so if you like this video and you think it's informative don't hesitate to like share and subscribe have a nice day